that day when one of the great man was born to our mother India. Whenever we hear the name of Nitaji Shubhash Chandra Bose, the first thing comes to our mind is, give me blood, I will give you freedom. What is the meaning of Subhas? Subhas means elopement. Hello everyone, I am Anushri Maiti. I am the 10th grade student of SPSS Vivekananda Shikha Niketan. Today is the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose. After giving my humble tribute to Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose and all of my teachers and seniors and my love and care to all of my brothers and sisters, I want to deliver a speech on Netaji. Shubhas Chandra Bose popularly known as Netaji, was a great militant and freedom fighter. He was born in Katak, Orissa on 23rd January to Janukinath Bosch and Prabhavati Devi. His father, Janukinath Bosch, was a well-known lawyer and his mother, Prabhavati Devi, was a pious woman. Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bosch was a brilliant student from his childhood. Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose studied in a Protestant European school in Katak in 1902 and then he shifted to the Ravens Collegiate School. He secured the second position in the matriculation examination in 1913 and therefore he went to the Presidency College. He was expelled from the Presidency College due to nationalist activists in 1916. He got into an argument with the Professor Oten and for this reason he was expelled from Presidency College. Thereafter, Netaji joined the Scottish Church College at the University of Calcutta where he completed graduation in philosophy in 1918. During his student's life, Netaji was deeply influenced and inspired by Swami Vivekananda's teaching. Netaji's one of the pioneers is Swami Vivekananda. Netaji was known for his patriotic zeal even when he was a student. Netaji went to England for further studies and there he passed the ICS examination but he did not serve for the British rule. After hearing the turmoil in India, he came back and started the Swaraj newspaper for the promotion of the Bengal Provincial Congress Committee. Netaji joined the non-cooperation movement begun by Mahatma Gandhi. Netaji was advised by Gandhiji to work with Chittoranjan Dash, who was the political leader and who was the political teacher of Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. Thereafter, Netaji became a journalist and commandant on the Bengal Congress volunteers. In December 1921, Netaji was arrested and imprisoned for organizing a boycott of the celebration to mark the Prince of Wales' visit to India. In 1924, Netaji was appointed as the Chief Executive Officer of the Calcutta Municipal Corporation and thus as a mayor. Netaji was then deported to Myanmar since he was suspected of connections with secret revolutionary movements. In 1927, after Netaji's return from Burma, he found Bengal Congress affairs in disarray after the death of Chittoranjan Das and was elected as the president of the Bengal Congress. So, Netaji and Jawaharlal Nehru became two general secretaries of the Indian National Congress. In 1938, Netaji was elected as president of the Indian National Congress. He then formulated a policy of broad industrialism which didn't fall in sync with the 
Gandhian economic thought that the country's cottage industries could benefit from the use of the country's own resources. Netaji was removed from the Congress leadership positions in 1939 due to the differences between Mahatma Gandhi and the Congress High Command. On January 26, 1941, Netaji escaped from Calcutta residence and traveled to Kabul and Moscow and reached Germany in April. In Germany, Bose came under the protection of a newly created Special Bureau of India. Netaji and other Indians in Berlin made regular broadcasts in different languages from the Azad Hind radio sponsored by Germany. Through the broadcast, he urged his countrymen to rise against the British rule. One of the Ines bridges advanced with the Japanese army up to the frontiers of India. However, with the retreat and defeat of the Germans, the INA collapsed. Subhas Chandra Bose was an unforgettable national hero who fought for the country's freedom struggle against the British rule till his last breath. He is known to be one of the greatest heroes the India has ever seen. Netaji once said, "Freedom is not for given; it is for taken." We have to remember the great quote of Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose. Thank you everybody